Suburban Sentinel here with a follow-up to our initial video on ammunition storage and logistics. You probably see Bella the camera cat. She's getting in on the act in the background there. Anyway, in that video, we discussed five competing goals or interests involved in ammunition storage, namely security, access, longevity, portability, and efficiency in packaging. We also discussed that there is no one way or storage method of satisfying all of those goals. And the best we can do is to use a variety of different packaging and preservation methods to achieve a balance. In this video, we'll be focusing on the security aspects of ammunition storage. And note that we're still in the theory and planning stages. We'll get to the nitty gritty how-to in future videos. In discussing ammunition security, I'm referring to protection from theft or casualty. I have two different strategies for protecting my ammunition against theft or other type of casualty, the first of which is what I call brute force security. And essentially what I'm talking about are gun safes. We're not talking about small gun safes just designed to hold one handgun. We're talking about the floor models that are extremely heavy, can be bolted into concrete, are fire resistant, and any other similar cabinet. In point of fact, in addition to using a conventional gun safe, a lot of my ammunition is stored in fireproof filing cabinets. Naturally, each one of these safes and cabinets have robust locks that require the use of a combination or a specialized key to open. So now let's take a look at the advantages and disadvantages of the brute force or gun safe model of ammunition storage. The biggest advantage of a gun safe or substantially similar cabinet is security. It's going to be very difficult for someone to walk off with your floor safe. Also, unauthorized entry will be difficult due to the combination locks or having a limited number of the specialized keys available. Another advantage of a gun safe, it allows for fairly easy access. Although it's not the type of access you want if someone is at your gate and breaking into your home, uh, having a gun safe or similar in your house allows relatively quick access to extra ammunition. A third major advantage of a gun safe is the longevity of the ammunition. If the gun safe or equivalent cabinet is in your home, it's relatively easy to control the environment. Moisture and unduly high temperatures adversely affect ammunition and controlling the temperature and humidity in your own home is pretty straightforward. In addition, you can control the micro environment within your gun safe using off the shelf products and in some safes those are built right in. The primary disadvantages of a gun safe are of course first portability. You don't want to carry a full size floor safe everywhere you go. And second is the cost. Uh, good gun safes and or fireproof cabinets or fire resistant cabinets can be very costly. I'm going to deviate from the subject matter just for a moment. Be very careful from a legal perspective about storing arms and ammunition inside your home. Many homeowners insurance policies and mortgage documents expressly prohibit such things as quote unquote explosives in the home. Oftentimes the term explosive is not defined within the contents of the policy. This and other types of ambiguities in the mortgage or insurance documents 
can lead to problems down the road if there is some type of casualty or claim. So take the time to meet with your insurance person and or lawyer to make sure that your carrier and if you have a mortgage, your mortgage company and you are all on the same page with respect to ammunition storage. I know it's a pain in the neck and it can be an expensive proposition as well, but in this case, an ounce of prevention can be worth a ton of cure. All right, back to topic. The second method we're discussing is what I call hide and seek security. This is not based on brute force, but making your materials hard to find. Essentially, what we're talking about are ammo caches. And my preferred method for an ammo cache is to bury the ammo underneath the ground. So let's look at some of the advantage of an underground ammo cache. And by the way, the word is cache. Some people call it an ammo cache. It's not. I don't know why, but that drives me crazy. Cache is a different word. Cache means a mark of distinction. Anyway, an ammo cache gets an A plus for security because people can't take what they can't find. Another advantage of the ammo cache model is that you can have multiple caches. And the advantage is not having all of your eggs in one basket. Of course, all of this comes with a price. There are some very significant downsides. First, if your ammo is buried underground, your access is terrible for reloading, inspection, and maintenance. Second, you're dealing with a harsh, uncontrolled environment in most cases. And third, in order to deal with that harsh environment, you're going to need to spend a lot of time and resources on your packaging and preservation efforts. So there you have two methods that satisfy the security objective of ammunition storage. Personally, I keep about 70% of my ammunition supply in the gun safe model and about 15% in the ammo cache model. And that works for me. In future videos, we will discuss other methods of storage, emphasizing different goals, and then we'll get to the nitty gritty how to's as to each method. So thanks for watching. This is the Suburban Sentinel, along with Bella the Camera Cat. Please thumbs up and subscribe if you like what you see. Questions and enlightening comments are always welcome. Remember that the most important prep you have is between your ears. Be safe, everybody. Say goodbye, Bells.